Okay, painting the hair now. Um, I said I was going to try something a bit more for this, a bit different. I'm actually going to do a colour blend, starting from a, a fairly light blue and working my way through purple into pink and then depending on how the gradient goes um, get it quite quite pale maybe off towards white towards the end so I'll start by just putting down a little of my root blue just at the top of the model now and keeping all the paints involved in this quite wet one to help with the blending actually when we're painting near the model in itself and second reason just to keep it easy to mix them in the palette so while I'm working I'll keep my two colors that I'm blending um, wet on the palette and use the center one to mix it here so I've got I don't just simply put some blue in the palette and then slowly mix portions of pink into it because what I find is I could accidentally go too far so I'll start with a clean palette between between the two move some blue into there and a tiny bit of the pink a tiny bit of the pink if I've gone too far at any point for the um, for the gradient I'll put some of the blue back in there so I've got both root colors wet on the palette and available straight away so as I put the next grade of color in I'm not painting across in a thick band because you'll notice the color cut quite heavily and I want this to blend so instead while keep trying to get it while it's still wet on the model to aid the blade blending all the brush strokes for this are going in the direction of the grain of the model so doing it in the direction that the hair is actually flowing and not not evenly not as a clean cut So the less of the second colour, the pink in this case, the less you add at each stage and the less distance you travel down the model with each new colour band, the smoother the blending will appear. I'm already on to the second, sorry, third time that I've added some pink to this mix and arm barely past her shoulders to try and keep it nice and gradual the change between colors I'm also going to have to give some consideration to the shape because as we progress around the back it's going to be a, a bit of an arc and you'll see greater length in each color shade needed here and only a small amount here so it remains smooth and consistent for when it all comes together again at the straight part here just taking some time to get the color flow fairly even from back to front here And now work on dropping just a little more pink into the mix. So there's the hair all painted in. And it runs quite nicely from blue to pink. Um, working with the grain of the model and the actual curve of the model has meant there's only a few spots where the blending, where the uh, jump from one shade to another seems anywhere near harsh. 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a very, very small glaze wash of purple, um, a purple toner, really, really watered down just to take the last of the uh, color definition color breaks out and to add some shape definition to the hair because I've concentrated far much uh, far more on the color shift than I have the actual shape so this is how it looks now we've added the hair compared to how it was before um, we're very much in the final stages now just a few more details and the model will be finished.